Okay, so I just thought I'd show you a uh, another slightly different version of a uh, uh, a jig fly here. This is a, a much smaller version. So this is a size 18 hens uh, jig hook, uh, and I've got a two mil um, tungsten bead on the end of there. Now I'm going to tell you a much darker, smaller, darker, slightly more subtle version than the fluorescent uh, version that I tied earlier. So let's just knock on some nano silk. Halfway down. Then I'm going to use some fine gold wire this time. Turns right the way down to the end, and for the body of this fly, I'm going to use some uh, uh, magpie center tail, much shorter fibers than the uh, pheasant tail. But what I can do is I can just tie them in. Two turns round just to leave a little tail in there. And again, I don't particularly myself like using hacker pliers. If I put my finger or my thumb, it's usually sufficient to control. Material as I just wind it around. Okay, and it's uh, it gives a, a little iridescent green sheen, uh, a bit like peacock hull, but uh, more subtle and much finer. So again, I've gone one way around with the magpie, so I go the opposite way around with the uh, uh, with the gold wire in there. Now I just can't resist putting the tiniest little bit of sparkle in here, so I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny little bit. Of black UVI stubbing. I'm just going to put in there just behind the uh, the bead. And then for my hackle on this fly, I'm using a starling feather, which I've actually uh, prepared in the usual fashion. Tied in at the The V. String the fibers back. Off the stalk, and uh, swap a little bit of uh, finish on there. Now, because these are um, generally these jigs are going to end up being um, the point flies on uh, 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 either on uh, check nymph rig with uh, three flies. Or they end up being uh, on a French leader, wanting to fish at distance, and generally 
tend to fish them in the larger sizes, but if I run it on a really small one, really tiny little, that's a, quite a good representation of a little Betis nymph, which will just trundle along the bottom. And of course, because the because uh, it's a jig, it'll be upside down, so the hook is well above the uh, the bottom, so I can just trundle that along the uh, the gravel where the grailing are. Should be using that in a couple of weeks' time.